Fanlin here from Blues Guitar Unleashed. Welcome, thanks for joining me in today's video. I'm gonna talk about the song Layla by Eric Clapton, but the acoustic version, kind of an acoustic bluesy version that he did uh, later in his career, although it's been maybe 25 or 30 years now since the Unplugged album came out. I guess it's not exactly a new thing, but it is the more recent of the two. Um, I'm gonna approach this one a little bit differently. Uh, I think it would be easy to just sort of say, here's the chords, here's, here's how it goes, but I want you to try to play it along with me. Um, this is, I'm gonna try to make this a little bit more, I'll say interactive. I'm gonna assume you've got a guitar in your hands and we're just gonna kind of jump right in and I'm gonna sort of build it. I'm gonna start slowly and kind of build it and I'll give you a couple of options with different things that you can do as far as chord voicings and stuff like that. So you can make this suit you. I don't think there's necessarily just one right way to play this, okay? So fundamentally we have three chords, a D minor, open, second, third, first. However you want to fing that, finger that is up to you. Now, you could also play a bar chord, D minor, five, seven, seven, six, five. Now, I don't hear that high A when I listen to the recording, so um, I would tend not to use it. Even if I am using the bar chord, I would tend to meet out that high string just to stay out of the way of the soloist or the singer. The next chord is going to be a B flat. Now this, I'm playing it, I'll say rock and roll style. I'm not doing the traditional classical bar chord and I don't, uh, I would not suggest it. We don't really want to hear the high string. So I've got my first finger at the B flat, which is the first fret on the fifth string. And I've got my third finger barring across the third fret on the fourth, third and second strings. Top string just doesn't happen. I'm simply going to slide that up two frets and I've got a C. Obviously you could also play C in a traditional open position. Third, second, open, first, open. Okay, so those are the basic chords. D minor. What I want you to do is I really want you to watch my strumming. Because here's the, the, the tricky part is in the change. D minor. Okay, so D minor, mute, B flat. So you're gonna have one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, uh, let's start with that much. Two, uh, four, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Now if you have trouble making that change, just maybe stop the video here, work on that change for a little bit, come back when you got it, we'll move on. <laughs> but you should definitely be able to do each of these things as I show you. Okay, so we're gonna have D minor, B flat, C, D minor. Okay, so I'm basically doing the exact same rhythm with the C to D minor as I'm doing with the D minor to B flat. D minor, B flat, C, D minor. If I change voicings, it doesn't matter. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. One, uh, two, That's the most, that's, that's the part that tends to really mess people up, <laughs> believe it or not, because of the chord change happening very quickly. If you can do that, you're gonna be in pretty good shape. Now, there's things you can add, okay? One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, uh, 
Okay, so it's A uh, four A. Uh. We're gonna hit the open A, third fret on the A, which is a C, and the open D. But notice that the rest of it is the same, okay? The rest of it is exactly what I showed you before. One, two, three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, that right along with me. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to add that connector note. Okay, and that might be, that might be breaking the bank for some folks, right? That might be too difficult. I mean, even, even adding that might be too difficult. But if you can do that, so we have one, two, three, a four, a one, a two, I'm hitting the C, uh, and I'm still getting that up strum on the B flat. One, two, three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, the rest of it's the same. Two, a three, a four, a one, So we had the easiest version. One, two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, one, a two, a three, a one, a two. Then we add chord shape, it's a little trickier. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. This is a lot easier. Four, a one, and two, and three, and four. Now, that's just a little bit of a connector. It's an A chord and a C chord. Okay, so we go through the verse, or the chorus, a few times, and then three, four. Now, we're going to go to some bar chords. Okay, so if you really, really, really struggle with bar chords, there's really no way around them. In this case, uh, there's just not open position uh, options, so this might be a good chance to practice on. A C sharp minor seven. I suppose you could do a C sharp minor in its place, but I've always done C sharp minor seven. Either way is fine. Four, six, six, five, four, or lift up the pinky. Four, six, four, five, four. That's your C sharp minor seven. And at this point, it's pretty straightforward. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. <laughs> And then you're literally just going to take your hand and move everything down one string. And you'll have a G sharp 7. So this is C sharp minor 7, minor 7. G sharp dominant 7th. So 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4. 1, 
two, three, four. C, D. Okay, so we have C sharp minor, two, uh, three, uh, four, one, uh, two, three, uh, four, C sharp, D, D, E. One more time. One, two, three, four. I like to add the E7, but you can either do that or not. It could just be E, two, uh, three, uh, four. And you'll notice I'm, I'm, I'm using this one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. And I do that to kind of give the illusion of the snare on beats two and four. That's why it's one, two, uh, three, uh, four. Okay, so let's go back to the top. One, two, three, four. Now let's go to the next part. Three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, One more time. One, two, three. So hopefully that all makes sense. Now we just have to put in a little bit of a turnaround. F sharp minor to B. So the F sharp minor is probably physically one of the most difficult chords to get all of those notes to come out. Aim for the lower ones. If none of the upper ones come out, that's okay. It's great if you can get them all. Two, four, four, two, two, two. if you can get them all but if you can't don't worry about it B which again you know B flat B C D these are all the same shape so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here then E and A so we're gonna have F sharp minor and again we change on that beat two one two three four one two three four one two Okay, so it's F sharp minor to B to E to A. Again, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a two, a three, a four, a one, two, three. And you're right back to here. again.
All right, and that is basically how the song goes in its entirety. You can choose how many times you want to go through, I'll say the chorus figure, there's like solos that go on and other things that go on there, but by and large, that's it, okay? So what I would suggest that you do is practice it along with me. Now, I know some people are gonna say, please, you know, give us the chords, give us the tab. Uh, that's not the point. <laughs> to put it bluntly, I'm not going to because that's not really the point. I want you to play it along with me. That's the key here. I played it very slowly, went over it multiple times. This is the way I tend to do it. I'll say if I'm sitting across from somebody in a lesson and we're gonna learn a song, rather than just write it down and send them on their way, I like to play it. I like to actually just play the song. And, and it, I find that it works much better over the long haul. So do your best to just do what I do and say what I say. So when I'm counting, you should be counting. When I'm you know, playing the simplified versions of things, if you struggle with that, push pause, go work on that for a while, get that to where it's nice and comfortable, come back, go to the more difficult one, try that out a few times. If you gotta press pause or press stop and come back the next day, that's okay. You know, Just stop me at any point go practice on that section and come back. But it's important to do this kind of stuff using your memory and your ear and your hands and not always be relying on looking at chords in front of you. And I, I, I have a lot of students that need to get off the page. So I'm sort of trying to get you off the page a little bit on purpose. And I realize that might be create some anxiety for a lot of people. And I'm sorry about that, but it's important. So we're gonna do that, <laughs> at least on this one, all right? So that's pretty much it. Um, that's the lesson and I hope you do it and I hope you try it, okay? No complaining until you've tried. You have to really genuinely try to play this before you write nasty things in the comments below, okay? And I guess I'll leave it at that. Have fun with it. If, uh, as always, if you have guitar playing friends that you think would dig this video, I hope you'll share it with them. Um, I hope you will, again, give it a try. It might be a little bit different, might be you know not the way you always learn stuff, but give it a try. And as always, I'm Griff Hamlin from Blues Guitar Unleashed, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care, bye-bye.